Hello everyone, welcome to Rob's Rogues as we are taking a look at the fifth figure in the Batman the Animated Series line. Again, these are in no particular order as I uh, move this guy a little bit. So I'm just kind of randomly going through. I have a little checklist. So you can see I have uh, some things crossed off. Today we're taking a look at Lightning Strike Batman. And as you can see, I have some things blacked out here on my list. It turns out that I have actually... Uh, I am, mi I wouldn't say missing, I didn't pick up 19 of these figures. And that is just from, in this, like, first section here, uh, before we get into the new adventures of Batman, where they kind of redesigned the figures, and I'm saving those till last. Uh, so this is going to include Batman the Animated Series, Crime Squad, and I'm trying to look at some of the other ones here. Uh, the Adventures of Batman and Robin line, and... Uh, into the Mask of Phantasm as well. So out of all of those, I'm missing 19. And uh, this is kind of one of the first figures we're getting into where it's going to be a reuse of an existing figure's body. And like I said, this is Lightning Strike Batman. And I was, but you'll see, I was still buying a lot of uh, the same figure, just would it be a different paint job or different thing or different gimmick. And after a while, I started, this is where I started getting out of the, what I would call the wintergreen fresh Batman. If you look at my uh, Batman reviews for uh, Dark Knight Rises, when that movie was coming out, I did a whole series of figures and I actually reviewed Bane from the animated series in that uh, section, so I think it's uh, around June is when I reviewed those, so if you can go back through my channel. But I talk about this whole, like, uh, a name that I re refer to my other painted figures that are all the same, the, like, Wintergreen Fresh Batman or Supersonic Scope Telescoping Batman and Robin. Those type of figures, after a while, I stopped buying a lot of those when I realized, A, I'm just buying the same figure over and over again. It's just a different color. And it wasn't show accurate. It wasn't comic book accurate. But still, right at the beginning of the Batman the Animated Series line, I was just so excited for every figure that I bought almost all of them. I had thought I did until I put together my checklist. So instead of 62 figures, it's probably going to be around you know 50 to 49 figures. And that's still quite a bit of figures. Uh, for the line to be taking a look at. But um, I was intrigued by some of them, by how they looked and what their gimmick was. And this is one that I really uh, liked a lot. And this is how I generally have him standing. And uh, you can see it appears that he has his cape draped over him, which I always thought was, you know, really kind of cool. This Batman's a little bit on the dusty side. Some nice representation of his, you know, his cape draped over. As you can see, there's the hinges for the compartment. And what this does, it opens up. And becomes a glider. <laughs> or a type of a canopy if it's raining and Batman's trying to keep the rain off his cowl. That's designed to try and be a glider of some type. So you could make believe that he is flying around. Whee! <laughs> so I thought this was a nice little gimmick and um, I believe in the packaging he was I think he was like this I'll have to take a look and uh, once I upload the picture to my Facebook page that I'll put down here um, we will see how he was in the package I think that this is how he was uh, this accessory I never lost or didn't misplace because this is I don't ever I never took this out of his hand the whole entire time I've had him, and I have never had this figure out of his holster. So this has been on since the very day I bought this. I have never taken this off. Um, so maybe for the sake of the review, I could take it off. So watch me actually snap this out, but the figure pops right out of this. So you could put the combat belt Batman, or the main Batman from the animated series, this guy right in here if you wanted to or any Batman or heck any Robin Joker any figure would fit in here so that's kind of a uh, funny that's been 20 some odd years and that's the first time I've had him out of the uh, belt uh, I, I figured there was really no need to take him out at the time I uh, 
I thought about putting uh, that other Batman in here, but I just, I never had. And like I said, for the most time, I had kept him in his cocoon, if you will, sitting on the shelf, kind of, uh, you know, just looking like that. Put him up in the bat case. It's, he's really pretty wide as I kick the camera there. He's really pretty wide, so he has a hard time, you know, standing in that spot, but looks pretty good up there at the top. Looks really kind of sharp. But as you'll see, as we get through a lot of these reviews, that it's going to be the same Batman over and over again. And um, to try and give us just a little bit of something extra, they put them in all these zany different colors. And I think I made mention on my uh, Facebook page and even in some of the description of... Uh, my intro video that we're going to get into the Batman and Robin rainbow coalition of costumes that you're going to see a wide range array of costumes. And if I was buying these today, if they were out on the shelf or if they pull like a star Wars and come out with the 20th anniversary of Batman, the animated series in action figure form, and they start re-releasing a lot of these figures, which, I don't think they will since they were under the Kenner, the Kenner banner and now Mattel owns the rights to Batman. But let's just say for argument's sake that they did and they started re-releasing a lot of these figures. A lot of these figures I would probably end up passing on um, just due to uh, being responsible and saving money but also more to the fact that this was never comic book accurate. Um, now if they had released the accessories for Batman and Robin, I might pick up a lot of those just so I could put these different accessories on the main type of figure. And generally, I'm just going to have a figure without their accessory standing on the shelf, and pretty much that'll be it, as the accessories are big and bulky and um, kind of look a little silly with the figure, but as they're just kind of standing next to one another, I think it works uh, really pretty well. Uh, some of the accessories are, have a really cool gimmick and a cool feature, which is why I bought them. And other ones, as you know, the years kept rolling on through the animated series, and I started getting older and being more conscious as a consumer, I started telling myself, you know, it's not really show accurate, and I could save my money and buy something else, and I already have 35 Batman the way it is, and you will see a lot of them on here. So... Today we've been taking a look at the Lightning Strike Batman. A cool little gimmick, cool feature. I, I like him. Um, I like him a lot. I mean, I, I bought all these figures. Um, I don't think now I would go out and track a lot of these uh, particular, you know, winter green fresh Batman or supersonic scope underwater deep sea diving lava Batman. <laughs> I think you get the uh, drift because you're going to see a lot of those here. But uh, a lot of the main characters, the villains, and uh, the main principal characters, I would definitely try and pick those up if you are so able to do so. So as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogue signing off saying we will see you guys next time.